Welcome everybody to the Family Nook. My name's Diggy and this is the first ever Origami Show. You might be thinking, why an origami show? Uh, the answer is quite simple. Years and years ago, I used to like doing origami. Um, I was never very good at it, and I always wanted to learn how to get better. And I thought, now's a great time to start getting better, start learning, and let you come along on the journey with me. To start with, we're going to concentrate on animals in origami. So we're going to make every animal I think there possibly is. We're going to try our very hardest to get through as many as we can. Uh, and you can follow along with me each video. And hopefully you'll be able to send me some of your submissions in. And we'll be able to learn together. In each video, we're going to try a different origami animal. Uh, and the idea is to get better as we go along. So let's hope that happens. We're going to start with the crane quite possibly one of the most famous origami animals. Let's see how we get on. Our first fold is to take this side, well this corner, and to fold it across to the other corner. So line our edges up and then push outwards to each side to fold. And what I do remember is it's important to make sure that those folds are nice and sharp. So use the back of your nail to fold them across like so. And if you folded it sharp enough, the piece will stay closed just like that. And then we do the same with the other corner. So corner to corner again. Like so. And again, push our corners outwards. Like that. And then use the back of our nail to flatten that, uh, that crease. Then open up and then flip over. And then we need to fold halfway across, like so. Just follow it the same basic rule over and over. Every time we fold, cross that fold, then open up, and then we go the opposite way again. Like so. Make sure we get our edges all lined up before we make that fold. And now, we know what we need to do is we need to take the corners here, the ones that are folded, so they're folded towards us, pull those up. Actually, that one's not quite right there. Pull those up and they will all fold down onto themselves like so. And again, I'd like to just give it another quick press, like so. Now, make sure you've got the open end, not the closed end, facing towards you. And you now need to fold the corners towards the middle, like so. So we do that on both sides and again I'm going to make sure I really crush those folds down with my fingernail. Do the same on this side and try and create as sharp of a point as you can at the end. That will matter a little later on. And then we flip it over and do the same. on the other side. Like so, crush that corner. And then the same to the opposite edge again. Oop. So I 
almost folded it in the wrong place then. In fact, this isn't as perfect as I would like it to be, but that's why we practice. There you go. And then uh, we need to, just this top edge, just make a fold just that way. Does it have to be as sharp, this one? This way. Now that fold will help us out later on. It'll just help help it along a little bit. Like so. So now we should have essentially a kite. Uh, what we do now is we unfold all of our folds from the edges and then we need to find the open end which is this end here and we need to then fold it open and as we're folding it open fold these folds back in on themselves which they should do fairly easily starting at the bottom and then just give them a helping hand as you go along and they will eventually fold all the way back out like so now don't just force them into position if they're not going just start by getting those ones into position like so and then just carefully fold those corners or those creases even back out now we have got a bit of an overlap there but i'm hoping that that will be okay as we go along obviously ideally you would not do that and then we flip it over and we do the same on the opposite side so open up the fold fold it back on itself so as you can see we've got the bottom part in position so i'm going to just push those down just to help hold it in place for me and then in there, in there, and we're going to then slowly fold it back against itself all the way up that fold like that, and then we'll do the same with this one. All the way back against itself up that fold like so, and then fold it back. and flatten out those sides and then we should have two open pieces and a piece where it's stuck together like so now what we need to do is we take these pieces here and we fold them in just like we did before and we do that on both sides and then we flip it over and do it on the other side again as well. So like so. And this is now where the paper starts to get a little bit more tough to fold. Gets a little bit more stubborn on us as well. Does it like to fold how we want? So just taking our time, flattening out those creases as we go along. four sides. Now then we should again have these little separated pieces and this piece here that's together. What we need to do now we need to take this part here and fold it outwards 
like so, and then flip it over and do the same with the other side. So we're having the same shape, but what we're doing is we're just inverting it on itself. Like that. And again, as always, whoop, just push them folds into position. Like so. Now I can see that we've got quite a bad fold on this piece underneath here. So I'm just going to try and push that into place. Yep. Yeah. And then once we've done that, we fold this piece over as far as it will go, all the way to the top so that it's in the middle. So fold it like that, and then this piece all the way over. Like that. It almost resembles a crown. <laughs> Excuse me. So now we're going to do the same thing as we did before, and that is to separate these two pieces and separate these two pieces. Now everything's getting a little bit thicker now, so it's harder to fold. So just make sure as we do it, we push, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing there, I'm pushing my nail down into this, just to try and push it into position. And then flatten everything out with the back of our nail, just like we've done previously. And then, same as before, we fold this one up to here. See, I'm always trying to fold when I can from the middle outwards. Rather than pressing the crease down, I'm trying to slide the crease. And then we've flipped it over and we've done the same thing again. So just push it. We should now end up with this kind of shape, which could be any number of things. I can't even think of anything that that resembles. A triangle with legs? I don't know. Okay, so what we need to do next is pull these bits down like that, because these are actually our wings. We're, we're closer than, than you think at this point. Flip it over, and then we've got the tail and the head. So all we do now to make the, the, the head is pull it forwards a bit, and what you'll see here is it's unfolding that fold at the bottom, and then just pinch it back into position and it will hold it in place. We do the same with the tail. So fold it as far back as you, you feel is right and then pinch it into position. And we've got two wings, tail, head, but we're not quite there yet. What we need to do now is we need to take this part for the head and fold it down and then squeeze it back together, like so, to create a point. And there we have it, a paper origami crane. As you saw, it had its challenges. I was pretty happy with the results. I hope you enjoyed making it too. Don't forget, you can follow along at home. You can just get yourself a stack of origami paper, make your own, take some pictures, send them to us. The Family Nook at Instagram, Twitter. Uh, we have our website, which is thefamilynook.co.uk. So please come and check us out there. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Bye.